Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Fire HD 8 Tablet 2017 Edition, running Fire OS 5.4, which is a modified version of Google Android, designed for books, movies, games, and shopping applications, other things that are available from Amazon's many, many stores, including its App Store, Shopping Store, Video Store, and so forth. But it's also possible to install applications from third-party locations, so if there's something that you want to install that's not available from the Amazon App Store, you can do that. I'm going to show you how. Swipe down from the top of the screen, choose Settings, and then scroll down until you find Security. And from here, just click the option that says Apps from Unknown Sources. Make sure to read the warning, because it does point out that installing an app from an unso unknown source is installing an app from an unknown source. That means that if there's any security problems, if there's malware, you could wind up infecting your device. Uh, so make sure that you only go to trusted locations. So, for instance, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Silk web browser here and go to apkmirror.com, which is a website that's maintained by the folks behind Android Police, which is a popular website for news and tips and other information related to Android. And it's a place where you can find recent and older versions of Android apps that are available for download. So let's look for one that I know is not available in Amazon's App Store, Marvel Unlimited, which is a subscription-based uh, comic book service. Let's select the latest version. And scroll down until we find the download option. And then click download. Once that's done, we should get a little option to say open. And as long as you've enabled support for installation of apps from unknown sources, you should see a screen that looks like this. These were the steps on FireOS 5.4 and on earlier versions and probably later versions of the operating system. And while this is the Fire HD 8 tablet from 2017, uh, basically it should be the same on the Fire 7 tablet, which is a cheaper version with a lower resolution, smaller display. Let's go ahead and open that application so you can see that it worked. And here we have Marvel Unlimited running on the Fire HD 8. Pretty much any app that's compatible with a version of Android that this is based on should work. Now, APK Mirror is just one of many places you can get Android apps. Uh, another is FDroid, which is a repository for free and open source applications. And it's actually not just a website. You can download FDroid and run it as an application, which I've already done here. So basically what we've got here is an app store that's running on your device as an alternative to uh, Amazon's app store. So so you're looking for a web browser. Just search for that. And you can download and install them. The process is pretty much the same as what we just saw. It's also possible to install the Google Play Store, at least on version 5.4, without rooting your device, without installing any custom firmware on it. Uh, it takes installation of four different applications, so I'm going to save that for another video. But it is possible to, uh, to get the Google Play Store running alongside the Amazon App Store and make this feel a little bit more like a traditional Android device. Overall, I actually kind of like the user interface and the experience of using Amazon's interface, but uh, the arrangement of the apps and a couple of other things could be a little bit better. So, uh, for the most part, Fire HD 8 is a great tablet for people who are already locked into Amazon's ecosystem, but it is possible to install apps like Marvel Unlimited, which are not available through those official channels, just by installing, allowing installation of apps from unknown sources. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.